Hello Capricorn, what is going on? Welcome to your April 2023 love and romance reading. Welcome back to the channel. So this reading may resonate if you have a Capricorn sun, moon, rising, Venus, or any other major Capricorn placements. Please remember that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And also feel free to swap the roles as I could be talking about you or your person because I am simply reading energies. And then last Lastly, Capricorn, if I genuinely feel that it will be insightful to do an extended reading based on what we see here, you'll be able to find the link for that in the description box below. But enough of me talking. Let's get into it. We already have the first card flying out. What do you need to release? So we're going to be starting out with some Oracle cards just to grab the overall uh, theme and energy, and then we'll dive deep into it with Tarot. But I just got so many hits right now in that moment that were um, that were coming to me. But what do you need to release? There's something heavy here, Capricorn. Prosperity lies ahead. I am sensing there there's victory ahead here. There's a victory ahead. There's a lot of prosperity, but there's something here that feels as though it's pulling you back or pulling something back. Something's in the way. Something needs to be released here. Something needs to be let go of. Let's get some more here. What's going on for Capricorn, please? When that card popped out, it hit me like a ton of bricks. That's what I was like trying to find my words. Two things. Foundations and achievements, memories of love. Okay, so you may live with someone here, um, with the person that you're connecting with, but that is not necessary. But I do feel as though that this is about achievement or the overall stability and foundation of something. I feel like there's a lot of reminiscing about the past. There may be someone here who is missing someone very much. Possibly the way things used to be. Love begins, though, at the bottom of the deck. So there is an opportunity for a new emotional beginning, but I feel there could be something here from the past that could be holding someone back that someone needs to release for some of you, and this could be you or your person. But there's a lot of beauty in this connection, okay? I do feel that the universe is very much supportive of it. Let's see what else this is. I, I just feel as though there's a bit of a minor setback here. Afraid of commitment. Social media connection at the bottom of the deck. So this may be about someone that you are connecting with online. Maybe you met this person online. Maybe your main form of communication right now is texting. Okay, but there, this could even be technology, you know, talking with this person on the phone. This could really, really be anything. But with afraid of commitment, Capricorn... This may not be afraid of commitment in a relationship sense. Maybe for some of you it is, but this could be afraid of committing to a particular action as well. Let's see what else comes out here. Don't want to be jumping to conclusions, but... You know, there may be someone here who is tied to the past that needs to let go of some sort of negativity or some sort of past energetic influence in order to really, really stabilize a strong foundation. And because of the past, it's like someone's past could be holding them back. There could be fears of commitment because of past experiences for some of you or your person. A honeymoon... Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. 
stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so this could also be a newer person especially with that love begins at the bottom of the deck getting to know each other too as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so this is what i'm really getting here capricorn okay there is someone here that really ignites your heart and the feelings are mutual okay there is some sort of block here though there's a need to release some sort of negativity some sort of burden some sort of past energy and this could be you or your person like i said i feel like there is afraid or, or sorry there's afraid there is a fear to move forward in some regard okay and i do feel like it's very much linked to the past this could have to do with one's self-esteem as well uh, someone who could be a bit of an overthinker, but this is someone that you really care about. This person very much cares about you. I feel like you're doing your best to stay optimistic about the situation as you move forward as best as you can. Uh, for some of you, you know, this could have really been a situation where you two are like in the honeymoon phase of the connection, but that's that's not for everyone this is just saying that you two really enjoy each other's time together when when you've spent it together now getting to know each other yes for some of you like i said this could be a newer person where you're just getting to know this person however for others of you it could be that you've known this person for a while and there is history here but as you you know as time goes on you're always getting to know someone at a deeper level so this could really resonate for all of you in different ways but as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens but there's something here where someone is afraid to commit to something it could be the connection or like the relationship it could be about moving forward it could be a particular action but whatever this is i do very much feel like it needs to be let go of because it is the block and i do feel there's so much potential in this connection but it's like someone is being haunted by their past and they need to let go of it if this resonates for you, please, please, please let me know below. I do read all my comments and I would love, love, love to know how this is playing out in your life, Capricorn. But I do want to get into this with tarot. I did not realize the table was so crooked. It's straight for me. Here we go. must be my camera that's a bit on an angle but let's get into this with tarot and see what is really going on here for a uh, capricorn sun moon rising venus spirit please bring in the necessary a uh, much needed guidance and messages for capricorn please bring in the messages that they must hear for april please uh, tell us more about what do you need to release memories of love foundation and achievements afraid of commitment honeymoon this could be the one stay optimistic about your love life and remember i am uh, posting this towards late march so if you happen to be watching this video in march some of these energies may already be playing out for you okay so let's see what is going on here for capricorn sun moon rising and venus ten of wands so there's something heavy here there's something that feels heavy queen of swords so you could be dealing with an uh air sign gemini libra aquarius okay or you could have that in your chart queen of wands beautiful energy here in the past so fire energy uh, sagittarius especially leo and aries the hermit in the reverse virgo energy this is representing your person so for some of you there may be virgo in the chart four of wands representing you look at you capricorn love this energy page of cups i'm liking this we're gonna have to see what this is all what this is all about but i do feel like there will be some sort of forward movement okay we do have the wheel of fortune in the reverse at the bottom of the deck so I'm sensing that there could be some external circumstances at play at this at this time. It could feel as though things took an unfavorable turn. This could just be cause and effect. You know, one thing led to another. This is just like, 
you know, the turn in the road and it's a bit bumpy type energy um, because it is major arcana. But I do feel like there may be external circumstances at play, but there's something that is quite heavy, okay? There's something that feels heavy between the two of you because this is the mutual energy. It looks like in the past, there was creativity, there was confidence, okay? You two may have been very much socializing, interacting with each other, maybe even going out together, and so forth. And if that's not the both of you, then this is you and you are glowing, you are shining, looking beautifully, male or female, doesn't matter. I'm just reading the energy, okay? I feel as though there's a need to look at a particular situation logically, though, here at this time. And I feel as though that there may be someone who is not necessarily speaking up, speaking their mind, saying something for what it is. And I feel like that would be quite helpful here. Okay. Now, I am not sure, because you're showing up as the Four of Wands, so I'm not sure if you're just kind of doing your own thing here. I mean, for some of you, just for some of you, it's like, I feel like this, this heaviness is your person's energy actually for the most of you so i don't know if you're just doing your own thing you're feeling good at home you're feeling happy um there could be some sort of celebration you're doing good but then it's like your person down here with the hermit in the reverse i feel like this person is very much in their head they may be pulled back there may even be a little bit of like a sense of depression I feel like this person is overthinking and overanalyzing something. And that could be creating this heavy vibe between the two of you. Okay, we really do need to get some more information. But with the... So I don't know, maybe this person just kind of pulled away here. But with the Page of Cups upright, I do feel like there is some sort of emotional offering, something sentimental coming in and so forth. If an apology is due, there could be a little one coming in here for someone, but it, it could also be a water sign. So you could have water in your chart. Maybe your person does, but again, not necessary. But what I want to do here is I want to get some more information out on the table and see what's really going on here. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify all the cards, pull some more, all this, all that. Um, as a reader, it's just easier for me to pull everything all at once on camera just so that I can see the whole picture and read all of the cards together. It really prevents a lot of backtracking, you know, going back and forth for me and so forth. So we'll do that and then we'll dive deep. All right, Capricorn, let's get into this. So I just want to quickly say that I did turn some of these piles upside down just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine, but we will be going through everything one by one, beginning with the cards that are currently revealing themselves, and then we'll make our way towards the ones that are uh, not revealed yet. But we're going to be starting with this pile, and this is representing the past. For some of you, you may be experiencing some of these energies right now, especially if you are watching this video at the end of March. Okay, for others of you, this may be this may still be uh, the past, and it could be the more recent past, or for some of you, the more distant past. But remember, time is fluid and so forth. So, um, you know, use your dis discernment here. But there could be a fire sign or someone who has fire in their chart, but I do feel like there is active management of something, okay? I do feel like someone has their guard up, but there is this energy, especially with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Pentacles, something's being managed, okay? And I do feel as though this is the stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so things, for the most part, maybe feeling managed, you know, you're getting through it, staying positive. Someone may have a lot on their plate day to day too, but it is being managed beautifully. At the same time though, the nine of wands is telling me that someone 
while balancing all this out and, and you know, the day to day, someone has their guard up about something. Someone is feeling a bit protective. And so I feel like there's this energy of someone who is confident, trying to stay positive about a situation, but is all they also have their guard up because they're trying to see through the illusions of something or see through some sort of confusion. There's a sense of watching and waiting, okay? And this may be going on behind the scenes. I feel like someone is being very observant, okay? So it's this energy of, I'm not going to jump to conclusions. Everything, everything is going fine. You know, I'm not going to be jumping to assumptions or jumping to conclusions about something, but I've got my guard up. It's like, I'm looking at you type energy. Okay. There could have also been something that came to the surface or that was partially revealed or something that obviously, you know, it may have put your guard up, but with the queen of, of wands here and the two of pentacles, it, it wasn't enough to, you know, spark any sort of um, total worry or just, you know, not to the point where it's like completely putting you in your head and, and anything like that. It's kind of like, oh, interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to do me like, I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not really sure what that's about, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of keep my eye on that. That's what I'm really getting here for this energy. Okay. Now, for the current energies or the incoming energies, I do feel like there's something that is a bit heavy here. And I feel as though with the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and the Two of Wands in the reverse, you know, I feel like there is someone here who may be showing up in a steady way and so forth. Okay, there's, it's like someone who is still showing up, but there's still something heavy. There's still something heavy here. And it may be this energy from the past. So I don't know if there's something here that transitioned into something that's feeling a bit heavier. But the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands in the reverse, I don't see much action being taken on this. Okay, and I do feel like there is... There's a lack of planning. It's it's very much, you know, even though the Knight of Pentacles is upright here, it's like slow movement forward, but not much. It's still that we're in kind of um, a five mile per hour cruise control. Like we're barely going anywhere, but we're still we're still feeling it out. And there may be a sense of discontentment because there's this uncertainty with what decision to make, if there's a decision that needs to be made, or which way to, to go here, or what to do about something. I do feel like this is an extension of this energy, however, it's just that there's something here that may be feeling a little bit heavier. For the block, we have the Queen of Swords, the Emperor in the reverse. This is uh, Aries energy, the Chariot, Cancer energy, and the Four of Swords. So I feel as though there could be some sort of unstable or inflammatory uh, situation. Like there could be something here that feels a bit unstable. And there could be someone here who is looking at this situation or even maybe a person and is choosing to retreat and, and pull back a bit here because there is a sense of retreat and healing. Alternatively, there may be someone here who has a fear of speaking up 
because of an inflammatory response or possibly, you know, worries about making a situation worse. So they're choosing to just pull away here. That's just for some of you. But I want to get some more information. Uh, if you are new to my channel, then um, I just want to let you guys know I am making my own Oracle deck. However, the uh, the artwork is still in the process of being made. So I just have these cards here just with you know words on them. And I know it's not the most visually flattering, but it has been very accurate for me. So we are going to be bringing this into the reading just to pull a few cards here and, and get some more information. Wish granted in the reverse, scythe in the reverse. Yeah, so there's something here in the past. When I was talking about a situation here where things are okay, but you know, someone has their guard up, they're trying to see through something, but it's being managed, it's just like, okay, you know, going with the flow type thing. I do feel like there was something here that did not make someone happy. And this is what I'm getting with the wish granted in the reverse, with the scythe in the reverse. It's very much this energy of this like slow, drawn out energy that it's like there's a lack of decision, planning, possibly effort. What is scythe in the reverse about? Confu so there is something that may have been confusing, which totally makes sense with the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So it's like confusion was slowly being cut away. But not enough for any sort of particular decision or plan. Robotic. So you may have been dealing with someone here who was, you know, very much in their um, logical mind, was not really bringing in much emotion, didn't really want to talk, okay? Now, for some of you, just for some of you, this may have been more about, well, the confusion is slowly dissipating, but I still don't have enough information to logically make any sort of decision, so I can't really plan anything right now. I feel as though with fears in the reverse, th yeah, there was something here that someone was not happy about that was really bringing up possibly some fears that they needed to to face or work through and you know, working through that confusion. That's just for some of you. It's the current situation. Bad habits, okay. Memories, shattered in the reverse. So this, this situation, memories reflect in the reverse, shattered in the reverse, obstacles in the reverse. This is directly linked to this block, which I'm just, I'm not gonna pull many here because I, I get what this is saying because we have power in the reverse. Lessons, just tell me more about lessons. I don't wanna pull too many. So there's some sort of lesson here that about cutting out the past. There's something that may be a bit cyclical here and it may be related to day-to-day -day things that have occurred between the two of you or something that you have definitely experienced more than once with this person. But I do feel as though there, with bad habits and power in the reverse, it's almost this unstable energy. So there may be someone here who is prone to having a bad habit around, you know, slipping into possibly an unstable energy or just some sort of abuse of power or, you know, um, maybe even like a controlling power, a bit domineering, okay? And I feel as though someone possibly, you know, may have pulled their energy away here, but whatever this is, regardless of who pulled whose energy away, or sorry, regardless of who pulled their energy away, it's because 
some sort of lesson was not being learned that was linked to the past. Okay, so it's either someone withdrew because they're just seeing that the other person is stepping into some sort of bad habit and it's just like playing out like another cycle is occurring or this person has retreated because of some sort of upheaval within them that's very inflammatory even possibly anger but th this person could even be triggered by the past here And I do feel that there's been difficulties, you know, really kind of picking up the pieces. It, it almost feels like this is heavy ten of wands because it, it's like after each cycle, it's not like it's like wiped away, clean slate. It actually becomes heavier and heavier after each cycle repeats itself. And so it's almost like, is this person, there's something here about bad habits. Is this person stuck in the past possibly? Because there is some sort of message here about difficulties of putting something together, picking up the pieces. Now, your person, they're showing up as the Hermit in their verse, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Magician, and the Nine of Cups here. For you, you're showing up as the uh, sorry Four of Wands, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Nine of Swords. So... There's something incomplete on this person's end. Let's see what this is about. Career and money in the reverse. Is someone working on something? See where you're at here. I do feel like this person is uh, influencing your um, your energy. There's a there's quite a serious energy here. Okay, yeah. So I feel as though your person. They're really, really looking at something here. They may be overanalyzing something. Okay. This may have to do with career, finances. And if that's not the case, then this may just have to do with investments and even how someone invests their time, their energy, and so forth. But there is this energy of something that needs to be complete. So maybe for some of you, some of you this person is literally... Uh, pulled back their energy because they're very much focused on their own something, a project, a career. There's something here that this person needs to complete. However, there may be someone here who's kind of just like tunneling in on something, possibly neglecting something um, outside of work and career. I feel that this person they may be taking a look at something here as the king as the king of swords and they're really looking at creating something that brings them emotional fulfillment and i feel like this person's really really thinking about what it is that they want so i don't know if this person is possibly considering walking away from a career starting something new here but it's like this person wants to manifest something here that's going to bring them true happiness Okay, and maybe this doesn't have to do with career and money, but um, for some of you, that could definitely be a part. Whoops, card just fell.
But yeah, I do feel like this person, they may be looking at things logically and not feeling too good about a particular situation. And feeling like they need to release something here. You know, let's get more about this. Because I feel like if there was some sort of interruption in this connection... Oh no, we've got the King of Pentacles in the reverse popping out and the, the Nine of Pentacles. Especially with memories of love and foundation and achievements, you could be dealing with someone who is very much... This person's acting a bit stubborn and selfish. Okay, especially with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, this person may be dealing with some uh, insecurity or stability issues, and this could be on the material plane. And if it's not that, then this person could just be uh, really acting out like a reflection of their own self-esteem, which may be a bit damaged or hindered at this time due to something from the past. It's almost this energy of this person being quite down on themselves. They may be comparing themselves to past situations, um, things in their past, looking at how they used to be so happy with something, and just generally not feeling fulfilled with the currents, but really pulling back and feeling like I really want to manifest something that I'm truly happy about. And for some of you, this may be about releasing whatever this block is, okay? For some of you, just for some of you, if this person's career or whatever, this and this could be a career, or hobby, let's just say anything here in material 3D that may have interfered in this connection, this person may be thinking about releasing it as well. But I feel like whatever this is, it may be taking a toll on them, okay, and their happiness as well as this connection. But I do feel like this person, you know, whatever this is, I do feel like it was leading to cycles here. Now, I, yeah, especially with bad habits and memories, it's like, is this person struggling with something from their past? Like, they're having uh, trouble, trouble, uh, I don't know why I got the word reinvention, but like restabilizing a part of their life after some sort of past loss? So are you connecting with someone who is struggling on an independent individual level with an area of their life? Let me know below. Because the thing is, is with the four of wands, I do feel like even if there is this time out, it may be because this person's acting toxic or they like kind of uh, exited in a way that was like a bit toxic because they're just... Uh, there's repeated cycles here and it may be because this person isn't releasing something from their past like they're still stuck on something right that they're going through i just don't think it has to do with you capricorn i think that this person is just really struggling with an area of their life that they associate with you know their identity and who they are and um i feel like this impacts their stability their security how they view themselves you know their self-esteem and, and things like that and i feel like you are doing your best here to be supportive and have like a, a warm welcoming environment okay i do feel like you very much enjoy time with this person and for some of you you may even attempt to connect with this person and so forth but you just may feel like they're focused on themselves um the king of cups in the reverse the ten of pentacles in the reverse and the nine of swords i do feel like you know you're doing your best here but at the end of the day 
there is there's something going on here that is making you unhappy and is putting you in your head and you may also be reflecting on the past and and seeing these cycles okay i do feel like there is a serious tone and you're working on healing on an individual level as much as you can okay I do feel that with individuality in the reverse, and especially with the Four of Wands, you know, you may be spending more time with family at this time or reaching out to friends. I do feel that you may be utilizing uh, your surrounding support system or social circle at this time, okay? I do feel like they may be helping you, you know, work through however that you are feeling. I do feel that... It's a bit of a more serious tone, and despite whatever your friends may say or tell you and so forth, it's like, yes, they're helping you get through this, but at the end of the day, it doesn't take away from the pinnacle energy of things just feel a bit shattered, you know, objectively. I do feel that there is difficulty uh, there there's a desire for conflict resolution or to help this person or to to support this person but ultimately there is trouble with making any sort of permanent change or at least seeing any permanent change but i do feel like you may be trying your best here to offer guidance advice help this person through whatever it is that they need um but you may be feeling like, I'm not sure if this is really, you know, working. So for the outcome, we have the Page of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Swords. And I wanted to know more about this. And we got the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil in the Reverse. So I am sensing that there is someone here who is coming in with some sort of message about effort, commitment, where someone has been putting in their efforts. Um, in general, there could be some sort of evaluation. But with the Two of Swords, this is a bit of a stalemate energy, so the sense of feeling stuck. Okay, someone may not be seeing all of the information. Someone may be trying to figure that out, but I feel like this is someone who may be reaching out to another to possibly help them evaluate something. But there, what you want to make sure of is if you're looking out for progress in a situation in any particular way, you want to ensure that you are evaluating all the potential areas here because, you know, don't miss out on the small areas where progress may have been made in a particular situation and that's what you also need to remind yourself in this connection if it's about that or even this person if they're coming in and they're asking about a specific situation the seven of swords in the reverse the uh, knight of swords in the reverse and the devil in the reverse there may be some sort of information that is revealed here you know this person may come in and their energy may be a bit like all over the place and back and forth and the devil in the reverse is indicating to me that there is this desire to reestablish one sense of independence or to let go of something toxic okay um let's see now for some of you for some of you there may be someone here who is saying that they must do something but there could be some sort of self-deception. It's like, oh, well, I need to do this because I don't see any other way to do it or something like that. This may be challenging you and this may be uh, bringing you in the opportunity to help take the blindfold off and turn this card upside down in whatever situation this is. Effort. See, yeah, some sort of effort is being made here. Home and family in the reverse. Healing the river. Mm-hmm. 
I see. So what I would look out for here is someone may be trying to act on a sense of impatience here. Someone may be acting, or sorry, someone may be feeling a bit impatient. Because um, remember, you can always change the outcome of tarot. I'm just describing the potential energies here, reading the cards as they are, and then, you know, you can always jump in here and change the energy up because remember, free will is always at play, right? But with this snapshot of time, which is what tarot really provides, I do see this energy where someone may be trying to push a boundary. There's an effort to kind of push a boundary here. And it may... Um, it may cause some sort of instability, okay? Because I feel like there's someone here who wants to explore something, someone who's quite open. But there's also a sense of impatience. So someone may be trying to see if they can push some sort of boundary. But effort is upright, so I feel like the intentions are positive. But you want to ensure, if this is you, may not be you, maybe your person, that you know, you're know you feeling the energy out. I don't feel that it is going to end in a way that is like, negative or anything like that. I definitely don't see that. I see this more of like a stalemate energy. I feel that someone may be trying to push some sort of boundary or there may be some sort of like offer or communication that comes in uh, about evaluation or maybe what someone's, you know, been thinking about and feeling a bit stuck. Okay. Or someone that's coming in and communicating about a stuck situation where effort has been put in but someone's perception may be that someone's trying to push a boundary here um with healing in the reverse this is saying that healing is it, it's like someone's not ready to heal right so it, it's not yet ready i feel like there's someone here who's going around and around and around in their head and I think that this is what's going to be revealed to you. And with balance, so it's like there's still going to be balance here. It's not, I don't see any big major, these, these cards are pretty neutral. So I feel like the overall manifestation of the energy is, is going to be pretty neutral here in terms of Someone possibly trying to push a boundary or maybe someone here is coming in and letting down their guard to attempt to talk about something because there's a sense of like impatience, but it, it's just evident that the person, the other person's not quite yet ready to heal, but it's still this, it's a bit of like a casual energy. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. And then through that, it will be kind of revealed that there's someone here is, who is all over the place with their their mental states and unsure of what it is that they want to do but there is this this focus on someone wanting to regain control of a situation by letting go of control possibly uh disconnecting from something that was disruptive or that felt disruptive and so i feel like this is what needs to be released i do feel like you are more so someone here who is doing your best to support this person but you are you're somewhat along for the ride that's what i'm really getting here so i f yeah that that's what i'm getting i do feel capricorn that it will be insightful to take this over to the extended so if you would like to join me over at the extended the link for that is in the description box below keep watching for a bit of a preview of that uh, but if not, then I hope that this reading was able to provide you with enough clarity and insight into your situation. 
Uh, but at the extended, we're going to be doing all sorts of things. We're going to be doing the you versus them spread. So we're going to be taking a look at you and your person's energy over the next three to six months, the mutual energy, as well as where you're at, where your person is at. We're also going to take a look at intentions, what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know. We'll also dive deep into some guidance and advice, as well as some timing cards and some confirmation cards as well. So again, if you'd like to join me over there, the link for that is in the description box below. However, if not, then I really hope that this uh, reading was able to provide you with that insight. And please comment below. Let me know your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and how this is all playing out for you. I love to know which part of the Capricorn Collective I am connecting with. So be sure to let me know your placements below. But that's what I have for you for now. Thank you so much. Love you all so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful month and I will see you for your mid-April readings. Love you all. Bye. It's going to make you feel a sense of strength here with the strength card. Now, alternatively, if you're not with this person at this time, there is a chance, there is a chance that this person may be coming in and attempting to reconcile with you or this person sees something coming. Like they may be doing their research. They may be looking into things. They may be... I, I feel like they don't want this to get the best of them, okay? But the thing is, is like what you don't know...